George Seurat was a famous French painter who invented a special style of painting called pointillism. Seurat painted his pictures with tiny dots of paint rather than using brush strokes. George Seurat's most famous painting is called A Sunday Afternoon on La Grande Jolte. This painting is composed of thousands of dots. The painting took George Seurat two years to complete. But let's get to the point. Today, we are going to use George Seurat pointillism style to make our own pointillism starfish. Okay, so to begin, um, we are going to be using an eight by 10 canvas today. If you do not have an eight by 10 canvas, um, you can always just cut an eight by 10 piece of um, cardstock white paper and that will work as well. Now we have our starfish template, which you can make one. If you do not have one, we have paper towels, we have a pencil, we have a rounded um, paintbrush, and we have some water to clean our brush and we have a palette today with cool blue white yellow and burnt sienna we'll only be using these four colors now to begin you're actually going to take your finger and you, you will be dipping it in the blue and we are going to do some markings on the corner here like that and then a few up top. And our goal is for the markings to look like the ocean water and like the ocean is going into the sand. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and dip our finger in the cool blue. And on the edge, we're gonna go ahead and do some markings like this. I put two of my fingers together to kind of make it look like the hit of water. We don't want too much blue, just a little bit. Then we take some of it and do a few markings up top, kind of randomly. So the markings should be darker and thicker down here and then fewer as you move up top. After I do that with my blue, I'm gonna go ahead and dip my finger in the white. And I'm gonna go ahead and do some white markings on top of my blue. So it kind of gets light blue. I'm gonna dip my fingers in the white again, do some up top as well. And I'm just kind of going over where I did the blue markings. This will make it look like light blue. And I'm kind of just rubbing my fingers into the canvas with the white. And now we have our background. I might add a little bit more blue. I don't think I put enough right here. Just a few more hints of blue. So here's kind of our ocean water and this is supposed to be our sand up here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take my paper towel and wipe my fingers off. And then I'll put my paper towels back down. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to take our pencil and our starfish and we're gonna go ahead and put our starfish down. We want it to be kind of off to the side a little bit like it's washed up on shore I'm gonna kind of turn it a little bit at an angle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold it down with one hand and I'm going to pick up my pencil and I'm gonna trace it. Just gently, don't press too hard, just enough so you can see it. Doesn't have to be perfect.
It's okay if your painting is still a little wet as you are doing this step. I'm gonna pull up my starfish. So now I have the outline of my starfish and the next few steps are the most important steps of the painting and it's what makes the starfish. And it can be a little confusing, so I just wanna make sure that everyone is paying really close attention to this next step, okay? So what we're gonna do is we are going to put a dot in the middle of our starfish. Now, we are going to be drawing lines from our dot to the edges at each point. And I'm gonna show you with my finger first and then I'll do it. So I'm gonna do a line to this edge, then to the outer edge, to the close edge, outer edge, close edge, outer edge, close edge, outer edge, close edge, outer edge, okay? And I'm gonna be drawing straight lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and start, I'm gonna draw a line from my outer edge all the way in. Then this little crease right here, I am going to go ahead and draw a line in. And this little crease, I'm gonna draw a line in. I guess we can say that these are the arms and you're going to the very outside of the arm all the way to the dot and then these little dips in between our arms, we're also drawing lines there as well, okay? so. Now from this arm, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line to the middle of the arm like that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and here's the dip. I'm gonna draw a line from my circle to the dip. Now here's this arm. I'm gonna find the middle of the arm and I'm gonna draw a line from the circle to the arm. Now here's the dip. I'm gonna draw a line from the circle to the dip. Now here's this arm. I'm gonna draw a line from the circle to this arm. Then I'm gonna draw a line from the circle to the dip. Now here's this arm. I'm gonna draw a line in the middle to the circle. Excellent. So, you should have a line from all the dips. Here's the, di the dips. From all those dips, you should have a line going to the circle. And then from all the arms, you should have a line going to the circle. Now, you are going to number them. Each little section that we've created will get a number. There are 10 sections. It does not, it does not matter where you begin numbering, but you need to go clockwise. So go like this. So this will be one. This section will be two. This will be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So go ahead and number your sections one through 10. Remember each little section. Okay, so now we are going to take our brush and we are going to do pointillism to paint our starfish. We will not be doing brush marks going back and forth. Instead, we will be filling in our starfish with dots. That is called pointillism. And what we're going to do is we are going to dip our paintbrush in our burnt umber first. And we are going to do dots in sections one, three, four, and 
six. So one, three, four, and six. So let's go ahead and we're gonna make dots in section one first and see how I'm just taking my time, filling it in with dots. I'm only staying in section one. It's okay if you go on top of your pencil. So I'm filling in all of section one. You can kind of see the shape of section one with burnt umber. Okay, so it should look something like this. Right now we are creating the shadows on our starfish and we are starting with our darker colors and we are going to move up to lights, okay? So now dip it back in the burnt Sorry, it's not burnt umber, it's burnt sienna. Burnt sienna, and after we do section one, now we're gonna do three and four. So let's go ahead and start with three. Remember, we're just doing dots, we're doing pointillism. I'm gonna fill in section three. Excellent. So now we have section one and three filled in with burnt sienna. Now we're gonna fill in section four. And our last section that we will be filling in with the burnt sienna will be section section, section six. I can't talk. All right. So go ahead and fill in six with your burnt sienna. Excellent. Now, everywhere where we put the burnt sienna, we're not going to clean our paintbrush. We're going to go ahead and dip it in the cool blue. And we are going to do blue dots on top of our burnt sienna sections that we just created. It's okay for your burnt sienna and blue to mix. You're just continually dipping it in the blue. All right, now we are going to take our brush and we are going to pump it. That means you're just gonna lay it on a paper towel, fold the paper towel over, hold it down gently with your fingers and pump it up and down. Now you're gonna go ahead and dip it in your burnt sienna and you are going to fill in the rest of your starfish with burnt sienna. But before you do that, these sections that we filled in with the blue and burnt sienna, I'm gonna call those your dark sections. Those are our shadows. The rest of the starfish is going to be our light section. So I'm gonna go ahead, Fill in the rest with burnt sienna after I pumped my brush. As I fill it in, I'm gonna remember though where my dark sections are. You will be able to see some blue on your dark sections.
So you're filling in the rest of your starfish with burnt sienna dots. Excellent. Now finish up filling in your starfish with the burnt sienna. When you are finished with that, you are going to take your paintbrush and you are just going to do a few more dots in the dark section. I'm just going to do a few more dots. Now I am going to clean my brush in the water. I'm going to pat it on my paper towel and on my palette, I am going to make a new color. With my paintbrush, I am going to essentially grab some of the yellow paint, I'm going to create a new color like this, and then with the same brush, even with the yellow still on, I'm going to grab some of my burnt sienna and I am going to mix it, I'm gonna grab some more yellow. A little bit more yellow. And I'm kind of gonna get this gold, this brownish, golden, orangey color like that. Okay, if you have to add a little bit more yellow, that's okay. This is the color I'm looking for. Now, we're gonna call this gold, this color. With the gold, you are going to put it in our light sections. So you are going to put it everywhere on the starfish except for the sections that we put the blue. Those are our shadows or dark sections. So look, I put blue here, so I'm not putting any of this gold. I put blue right here in these sections, so I'm not putting any of this gold. I put blue right here, so again, I'm not putting any of this gold. I am only putting this gold over the burnt sienna that does not have any blue with it, my light sections, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm going to start doing the pointillism gold dots. Excellent, so you can see the sections that I put the gold color in. So I'm gonna wait for you all to catch up and to put your gold color inside of those sections. Okay, excellent. Now, this gold color that we made, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of it. I'm gonna put it to the side. There's a little bit. And now I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of my white, and I'm gonna mix it with this gold color. And we are going to get a really pretty light gold. I'm gonna call this light yellow. 
we have got a really pretty light yellow. So again, I made this color by taking my gold that I made with the burnt sand and yellow. I took a little to the side and I put a little bit of white in it, okay? So now I'm gonna call this light yellow. And with the light yellow, I am going to put it where I just put the gold dot. So I'm going to put it over the whole starfish except my dark areas. And again, those are the areas with the blue dots underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a few like this. I'm not gonna do as many of the light dots. I wanna spread them out a little bit more. These are the highlights. Excellent. Now, after that step, go ahead and clean your paintbrush off in your water. And you go ahead and just leave it in there. And this is the end of our painting. Now we have created a pointillism starfish.